In this video, we are going to continue with area enclosed by a curve and the x-axis and still above the x-axis. You will find this on page 327 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Okay, let's look at this example. Find the area of the shaded, shaded region. Now, this is just a little bit more difficult, the integration. But can you still remember, we, we just, what is the value in front of x? Negative 1. So, we're just going to say, I'm going to multiply with that 1 over negative 1. And then I plus 1 and I divide, and it's still 4 and 0. And then I still going to, so I just use this rule. Can you see? So actually I was just multiplying with 1 over negative 1, which resulted into that negative 1. And then I substitute and I get my values. Okay. I want you to do this one. And the reason is I want you to do number B. So stop the video. Try now 16. Do number B. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. So number B. Okay, so let's just, first I'm, I'm writing the formula down, just for myself, okay? And I think it's good to get it already in the correct format. So that will be 16 plus 3x, and that is to the power of a half. Okay, so if I want to find the area... I will go and I will say... Um, I'm just what, that's my ending, that's my beginning. I don't have to go to zero, as you remember that rule. You can, if, if that's the middle point, you can take this, the end and just subtract the beginning. And then it is that 16 plus 3x to the power of a half, and I integrate 2x. Okay, so let's integrate. So there's a constant. Now, okay, can, can I just, this is the rule. The, yeah. the problem is I cannot inside. I must follow the rule. So what is the value in front? So it's 1 over 3. Okay. And then I multiply with 16 plus 3x. And a half plus 1 will be 3 over 2, or 1, and I divide by 3 over 2, and my boundaries will still be 3 and negative 4. Okay, I can just simplify this, I like always. So it's a third, multiply the reciprocal, 2 over 3, which will give me 2 over 9. Okay, so if I'm going to do that, I'm just going to get... 2 over 9, and I think it's also based, okay, I'm putting this extra step in, it's based that you take it back to the root. So it's 16 plus 3x, and that's to the power of 3, and it's the square root, and it's 3 and negative 4. Okay, so there's my bracket, so it's 2 over 9, okay, let's just substitute, so it's 16 plus 3, and don't forget that 3, and that whole bracket is to the power of 3. Okay. Minus, let me just move it a little bit. Uh, 2 over 9, and I repeat everything. So it's going to be six, 16 plus 3, negative 4, to the power, close the bracket, to the power of 3 close. Okay. And then I'm now just going to use my calculator to help me a little bit on that. So let's just get this one first. So it's 16 plus 9, 16 plus 9, and that's to the power of 3, and then it's the square root. And it's, so it's 2 over 9, and that's 1, 2, 5. Minus 2 over 9, 
So it's going to be 16 plus, no, minus 12. So 16 minus 12. Okay, to the power of 3. And then the square root, and that's 8. Okay, so it's 2 ABC 9 multiply 125 equals, and that's 27 and 7 over 9 minus 2 ABC 9 times that 8. It's 1 and 7 over 9, and if I press that, 27 ABC 7 ABC 9 minus 1 ABC 7 ABC 9 equals and it's excellent it's so nice if it's a whole number so it's 26 units again I again I didn't need to use my calculator okay because it was basically just that's the same so 27 might but it's units squared sometimes you're so used to using your calculator that sometimes it's just good to look at it before you look, use your calculator 